Hello students and welcome back to the channel Learn for Dreams. Learn with fun, say goodbye to boredom. Today we will see parametric and non-parametric equation for curve. There are two types by which presentation of curve can be done. First one is non-parametric representation. In non-parametric representation, the curve is represented as a relationship between x, y and z. Next is parametric representation. In parametric representation, the curve is not represented as a relationship between x, y and z, but as a function of an independent parameter such as u or phi. Now let's see limitations of non-parametric representation. A non-parametric representation can't be used for representation of closed curves like circle and ellipse. For non-parametric representation, equation of curve depends on the coordinate system used. Also, if the slope is infinity, such values are difficult to handle for computation. Now, let's see the advantages of parametric representation. Parametric representation can be easily used for representing closed curves. It replaces slope by tangent vectors and the parametric representation is suitable for partial curves. Let's have a glance at the types of curves. There are two types of curves, analytic curve and synthetic curve. Let's see the definitions. Curves which are defined by the analytic equations are known as analytic curves. For synthetic curves, a curve which are defined by the set of data points are known as synthetic curves. It means to draw an analytic curve, you require an analytic equation. And to draw a synthetic curve, certain number of data points will be given. Lines, parabolas, ellipses, hyperbolas and circles are the examples of analytic curves. And B spline, beta spline, nu spline, Bezier curve are the examples of synthetic curves. Now let's see parametric equation of analytic curves starting with the line. This is a line P1 dash P2 dash in XY plane. These are three position vectors P1, P and P2. The equation becomes P is equal to P1 plus U into P2 minus P1 where value of U should lie between 0 and 1. Now let's see an equation for a circle. This is a center of a circle PC, XC, YC, ZC. There is a point P at an angle U. The radius of a circle is R. The parametric equations are X is equal to XC plus R cos U y is equal to yc plus r sin u and z is equal to zc. Here u should lie between 0 to 2 pi that is 0 to 360. Next is ellipse. For circle radius is constant in both x and y directions but for ellipse there is a semi major axis and semi minor axis. So, sirf radius r ki jaga par a and b aega. That is, x is equal to xc plus a cos u, y is equal to yc plus b sin u, and z is equal to zc. Limit of u is from 0 to 2 pi, that is 360. Then for parabola, equations are x is equal to xv plus au square, y is equal to yv plus 2au and
and Z is equal to ZV. U should lie between 0 to infinity. For hyperbola, X is equal to XV plus A cos hyperbola U. Y is equal to YV plus 2A sin hyperbola U and Z is equal to ZV. U should lie between 0 to infinity because these are not the closed curves. So this was all about analytic curves. Hope you enjoyed learning. If you find this video informative, please do hit like button and share it with your friends. Also subscribe to the channel Learn for Dreams and don't forget to hit the bell icon.